So now on the DeJounte Murray front, you know, I've, I've been going back and forth on this because it's just not clear the Knicks' interest in him. Like, I, yeah. I look at him as, as a player, uh, the three years on his deal, how that might cap them going forward. What, what, do, you, what do you um, gather with, with DeJounte Murray and the Knicks' interest in him as we approach the deadline? I don't I don't think at this point it's likely. Now, I, I think the Knicks have shown interest in him. They've had different discussions about him, but I don't see it at this point as something that's going to happen before the trade deadline. Um, I think it, the move that they're going to make, if they make a move, is going to be something more in line with Bruce Brown, with Alec Burks, with Boyan Bogdanovich. Um, I think that that's where they – that's where they are right now simply because DeJounte Murray is going to cost them too much. And they're still looking, I know they're in a win now mode because they have a very good team, but they're still looking towards the future and still trying to keep their assets for that superstar. That's going to become a av- or supposed to become available at some point, whether that's in the summer or during next season. So I don't think at this point, DeJounte Murray is the lo- the likely option for the Knicks. Do you think, DeJounte Murray is an off-season acquisition instead of Donovan Mitchell. Interesting, but I don't, you know, I don't see it. I know a lot of people, I like DeJounte Murray, but he he's not working out with Trey Young. Why do you think he's going to work out with uh, Jalen Brunson? He's not the greatest fit, um, and neither is Donovan Mitchell for that matter, but in my opinion, Donovan Mitchell is a better player. Um, again, you know, I, I've heard different things about you know, um, Carl Anthony Towns, he's a player that be, might become available, um, not before the trade deadline, but uh, possibly after the season. So I don't I don't think they're going to use their assets to to get DeJounte Murray. I just don't see that move happening again. This this trade deadline, from what I've heard, it's going to be more of that role type player uh, that, that the names that I've mentioned earlier. And that's what they've always done, right? From Rose to Cam to Josh Hart, they always seem to try to just get a guy on a, on a bargain basement deal, whether you want to argue, yeah. you know, trading the first for Hart was like that. But I just feel like it, it's along those lines. Like maybe it's a Brogdon. We'll see if Troy Reaver rel- relents mm-hmm. a little bit on, on his trade request. Um, I and, mean, and, they got yeah. to. Why, why would you keep these dudes on Detroit, yeah. man? Yeah. I, I don't get it. <laughs> it makes no sense. Makes yeah. no makes no sense, man. Um, who, who else do we have? Any sleepers? Any sleepers that that we're not really thinking about? Now, right I, now? Yeah. So the one guy, and it's a weird, and it's not being brought up. This is just me talking. Um, Clint Capella in Atlanta, because the Knicks set Knicks center situation is a bit of a mess, right? You got Mitchell Robinson, and, I, and a good mess in a lot of ways. But you got Mitchell Robinson, who you don't know how he's going to come back. You got Isaiah Hardenstein, who has been playing tremendous, but then he's going to be a free agent in the summer and the Knicks only have his early bird rights. So they can't pay him more than 16, $17 million per mm. Now He might get more than that the way he's playing. Yeah. So yeah. you, so you're going to, you, you're going to, you're going to go into the summer and might have to lose him. Why not try to, I guess, consolidate your center. So you also have precious to chew and Jericho Sims. Why not try to consolidate this situation, get a guy like Clint Capella who to me, fits exactly with how Tom Thibodeau wants a center to play in the NBA. Um, and he has a, I know the Knicks, from what I've heard, they really want to acquire a player who has year, has co- money left on his deal after the season so that they can use that money to try to match salaries to get that superstar player. Clint Capella, to me, fits, um, all checks all checks a lot of the boxes that the Knicks are looking for. And he figured he he settles that center situation that I was talking about. So that's just me throwing it out there. I like that idea. The other thing is them not doing anything and then waiting until the buyout market to mm. see how that goes with Kyle Lowry and Gordon. So there are different avenues they can go for you, sure. You, you said Gordon Hayward, right? Your, your audio kind of yeah. chipped out, but I was just making sure we, we heard you. Yeah, Gordon Hayward. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 